What's up guys? It's uh, been a minute since I posted a video on here. Uh, a little over a week. Anyways, uh, you know I usually do, you know, sometimes I'll do those POV drives when I don't really have a whole lot of content to make or if I'm busy, I'll just throw one of those up. Uh, I've been using one camera and you know the issue with that, you get a good POV, but you don't really get to hear the sound of the car. So I got another GoPro. Um, so I got to run up, get my dog some dog food. So we're going to test it out. But for now, we're just going to put that one there because I don't feel like wearing it on my head today. Uh, and then we're going to set the other one up back here. And we're going to see if we can get more of that exhaust sound. And we're going to see how that uh, does. But if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, it'll help the channel out, help it grow. I'd appreciate it. Uh, it looks like my little curve. Um, but anyways, hit that like and subscribe button. And, you know, if you know a better way for me to get the sound of the car uh, just a little bit, you know, more into the video, let me know whether that's a mic uh, that you use and you like. Um, eventually, I'll get a camera again, uh, but they're kind of expensive. And I'm going back to school now, so I don't have a whole lot of extra money in my pocket to spend on camera gear. I'd rather spend it on car stuff uh, but yeah let's get to it let's see how the two GoPro setups go I'm actually you're not gonna see the video from this camera um, I'm just gonna use that camera to get the sound and we're gonna overlay that on top of the video of in the car uh, just to test it out see if the GoPro can handle the exhaust sound um, maybe the exhaust is too loud for it I might have to buy an actual mic if you know of one let me know in the comments uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and go for a drive.
or a newer Camaro or a Challenger, do you guys use rev match or do you turn it off? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I use rev match just because I drive this every day. It's convenient. Uh, I turned it off one time just you know to fully drive the car. Uh, but to be honest, if you have rev match, I don't see why you would turn it off. Uh, there's no benefit from turning it off. I mean, other than you get to drive the car fully. Um, but let me know. Do you turn off the rev match or do you keep it on? Uh, give me a reason why. You know, if you give me a good enough reason why, maybe I'll give it a shot. I also keep rev match on because I'm not the best. Uh, this is my first manual car I've owned. I've driven other manual cars. I learned on an old. 80s Jeep, how to drive manual. Um, I'm just not proficient in it, I would say. Um, it wasn't until I got a car with rev match that I realized you actually had to rev up the engine to downshift. So uh, I was a little ignorant right there. So it was a little bit of a learning curve when I turned off the rev match. I was like, oh, I actually have a rev engine. Let me know what you guys do. Do you keep it on or turn it off? their reputation so I even take it easy with that um, there's just certain things I won't do but I do push this car sometimes especially you know you're out on an open highway it's empty nobody's around and it's safe to do a little pull I don't do it if there's other people around because obviously I don't mind putting my own life in danger but I'm not gonna put somebody else's life in danger uh, you know just goofing around and shit so Keep that in mind, if you got a fast car, you can put your own self in danger, do risk your own life, don't risk other people's lives. Um, but that's it, that's the video. Uh, we'll see how this turned out after I edit it and we'll see if we get the exhaust sound or if the exhaust was too loud going down the highway. I put that GoPro behind the bumper so hopefully it blocks the wind. Um, but we'll see, until next time, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.